Hey guys, it's Rio. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, we are going to be decorating my kitchen. So let's get started. So I wanted to start off with my, I guess, hot cocoa and coffee section. So I got these from Walmart, and I'm just putting them, Walmart, from the Dollar Tree, and putting them in a container that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be filling up this other Dollar Tree container with a bunch of marshmallows that I got from Target and I think it just gives it a very festive touch. Next I'm going to grab all of the hot cocoa balms and put them in another Dollar Tree festive container. <laughs> and then also I have some shortbread cookies that's going in another one soon. Next up, I'm going to be doing my tiered tray. This tiered tray is a little bit on the smaller side, so sometimes I kind of struggle on how to decorate it, but I'm just taking a bunch of gingerbread type things that I got from various stores and kind of figuring out how I want them displayed. Next up, I'm going to decorate or change up the candy snack area and doing some refilling. I struggled with this a little bit because I it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So the way it is in the beginning here in this clip isn't the way it is in the overview, um, but just bear with me. And I ended up liking the way it turned out in the end.
is another place I kind of struggled. Um, I didn't realize that above the cabinets have like a little divot. Like it's not flush. Um, so I had to figure out a way to prop up the stocking hangers uh, in a way to kind of make sure that it hung properly. Um, I wasn't worried about like weight or anything like that because I'm not going to be filling up these stockings, but it's just it's just something that I had to, to deal with. Um, on this side was another thing that I struggled with because I wanted Shadow, Annabelle, and Nanny Girl's um, stockings to be on this side since it's longer. I needed to figure out a way to kind of like have all of them hung where they're not like blocking each other. Um, so this just took me a little while as well. So this is like my third or fourth try of trying to get the stockings just the way I liked it. And um, I actually finally figured it out, which is good. Um, just gotta keep trying, I guess. just taking a little bit of these cutouts that I got from Amazon and just kind of using painters tape to have them all over my cabinets except for over the stove and over the fridge.
Okay, so now I'm kind of going and taking over, or taking out the garland and replacing it with something a little bit more Christmassy. I got these from Walmart. They were like two something. And I'm just using the hooks or the, the screws as like anchoring points, fluffing it out and then kind of intertwining it around. And I used each loop has two garlands just so it looks really, really full. And now I'm pretty much going to do the exact same thing for the other side. take this deco mesh that I got from Walmart and going to be looping and stuffing it into the very now full garland. The reason why I like to make it really full is because when you're dealing with deco mesh it helps it hold a little bit better with not having to secure it at every point even though I'm probably going to secure it anyway because of toddler. taking this ribbon and cutting them into a small strips and just kind of stuffing it into the garland just to have it look a lot more fuller and I think it gives it also a little bit more of a like a fluid um, look. <laughs> taking these gingerbread crafts that I got from various craft kits, I'm going to be kind of stuffing them into the garland just to make it flow with the gingerbread theme of my kitchen.
And now I'm just going and taking um, my little tray here and trying to make it a little bit more Christmassy. So I'm getting rid of a lot of the orange um, sections and putting it um, away for now um, since I use orange throughout pretty much all throughout the year. Um, and then just putting more Christmas like festive florals that I got from Walmart, Joann's, and the Dollar Tree. Alrighty, and that's basically the whole kitchen. The garland did change from the previous clip. I had more of the um, little cutouts from Amazon, so I decided to incorporate that into the garland, as well as around the, um, the walls also. I also kind of made another type of deco mesh concoction over there it looks a lot more cohesive and just makes it flow a little bit better in the kitchen and then i do i used every single cutout that it had i had um that went with that kit and yeah this is everything i also added a couple more non-gingerbread things because i was it looked very plain up there and i wanted it to look a lot more i guess flow a little bit better But yeah, this is the completed look of the kitchen for the Christmas season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell down below. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you guys are doing well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.